<laughs> Yo, what's up? My name is Trekka. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different than what I usually do, which is playing funny games and horror games and making you guys laugh. I'm gonna put some links in the description below. But today I'm gonna share my top five tips with you on how to start your YouTube channel right now. So, let's do this. Let's do this shit. But wait. I can already hear the thoughts in your head saying Hey Straka, when did you start your YouTube channel? H how many views do you have? I mean, don't you have like 30 videos in your channel or something? Well, to that I say I don't give a shit! It's my channel, I can do whatever the hell I want to So either you listen up or just get the hell out Come on. Get out! Get out of here! But if you're still here, congratulations, we're gonna start right now. Tip number one, find your niche. And I'm gonna divide it into three points so you can really understand what I mean. One, it will help you get discovered. If you're going to do many different types of videos about many different things, all right, no one is gonna really understand what your thing is and what it is that you're really doing. If you wanna get discovered, if you really wanna help the YouTube algorithm, um, suggest you to other users and promote your videos you have to have a solid niche so youtube can know what you are doing and what these other people that are interested in the same things want so this way they can connect you with them simple as that two it will focus you all right if you're gonna do videos that are all around the place you're gonna do a cooking channel a gaming channel um how to build a, a forklift channel it's just not gonna work you're gonna be so confused and most important you're not gonna be able to develop yourself in this specific area in the beginning it's really really important to build your audience to understand that you have one specific audience and this is the type of people that are going to watch you at least in your beginning until you can change uh, to different type of videos if you'd like but that's later on and three it is really 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 important to do something that you love because when you do something that you love you have fun and that's the most important thing you don't want to do youtube if you're not gonna enjoy the process so just don't do something that you love do something that you're good at maybe uh, and do something that when you make the video and you watch it before uploading it it makes you feel like if i watched that video on youtube that someone else uploaded it i would enjoy it yeah all right so make stuff that you would enjoy watching. It is super, super important. And all around this tip number one, I'm gonna give you one extra tip inside it. Name picking. Make sure that the username that you want to pick is not too specific. Because let me give an example. If you decide to start doing one type of videos right now, and later on you will decide that you want to change your niche and you wanna do something else for a different audience, it will be very hard to switch because people are already used to what you're making right now your specific audience at that moment and you're going to have a hard time replacing that audience with a new audience i don't think that you need to uh, replace your audience but some people did make really big switches in their uh, channel and change their audience uh, and it's not the, the easiest thing to do so i wouldn't recommend that if you decide to open a cooking channel and you decide to make pies and lasagnas and all that shit uh, then probably your audience will be some old desperate grannies that want to cook something and make their grandchildren happy or something like that but when you decide to switch those grannies are not gonna be there anymore for you i'll tell you that they're not interested in your gaming channel they just don't so don't try doing that so pick your personal name if you want pick a nickname anything that you think that might fit any future videos that you want to make that doesn't uh, close you in a specific box tip number two make some really good quality content you are here to please people you are here to satisfy people i don't know how much you know about the youtube algorithm but i'm not gonna talk about it youtube's algorithm is working on the satisfaction of people okay get that shit in your head in simple words it means that if you're going to try and entertain people do it the best that you can if you're going to try and teach people something new make sure you do it right and make sure they took value from your videos every video tip number three it is also really really important don't 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 stress on your gear just chill bruh it's all good it's all good my man just chill okay your gear is fine your gear is great you don't need a hollywood production bruh the most important things that you need are lighting and sound okay just so you can get the idea this is basically the flashlight i'm using this is most of my lighting in the in in the horror videos 
the least. And sometimes I use that orange night lamp that you see right now that I have in my room. But this tiny thing that I borrowed from a friend is really almost all I'm using for my lighting in most of my videos. Oh, and by the way, you can add a lot more lighting in your editing software. Let me give you an example. So here I'm gonna put how I recorded it, and here I'm gonna put the same things, but with the lighting that I put in the editing software. Tell me how it looks. The second thing is sound. So the microphone I'm using is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 Studio, but it doesn't really matter. That cost me like 280 euros, uh, but you don't really need that. All you need is that simple microphone. Most of beginner YouTubers use that. It's the one that you just simply hang on your shirt and you talk and it really records you just simply great. Right? You don't need more than that and it's really cheap, I think. So you get the idea. Anything that is not recording from your iPhone, for example. If you're taking a video in your iPhone, that's great. There's nothing wrong with taking your video in your iPhone, at least in the beginning. But the audio doesn't need to come from there. It needs to come through a microphone. This way, people can hear you really good. Alright, this tip is tip number four. This is the most important tip, in my opinion. Uh, and it's gonna sound corny and cheesy but seriously just start just start fam that's all you gotta do really i know it sounds weird because you're watching this video because you do want to start but the question is after you finish watching this video will you really go and actually start and let me make it a little bit clear okay if you go and start and do your first video do your second video on those videos I don't want you to make them perfect. You don't need to make them perfect. You know why? Because if you're gonna try and make every video you make perfect, it's just not gonna work. And you're gonna be like, oh, that's not perfect. How do, how do I make it better? How do I, uh, no, why isn't that working for me? Nothing is gonna work for you in the beginning, all right? Nothing is gonna work for you in the beginning. You have to make a lot of trial and error in order to get better and better from a video to video. But you have to also get used to talking in front of the camera, which is really freaking weird, to be honest. Um, and you gotta have to practice it. And then you can develop yourself and you can improve from a video to video. Um, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so again, don't put too much effort in your first videos. Please, 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 just press that upload button. I'm telling you, it's all gonna be good. You're gonna be just fine. You have nothing to worry about. All right, just do it. Just do it. And after you finish each video, just think to yourself what you can improve for the next video. If it's the lighting, if it's the sound, if it's the way you speak, if it's the way you record yourself, if it's the way you edit, even if it's just a small thing that you can add in your editing that can really win the viewer's attention. And tip number five. Be consistent if you're not gonna be consistent nothing is gonna work for you all right like anything in life consistency is one of the keys that you have to have in order to unlock any door in life nothing will work for you if you're not consistent if you will not upload regularly if you do not commit to that goal of yours and in this game which is called youtube consistency really really matters think about it like that youtube doesn't know anything about you you just started your channel why would YouTube promote you or suggest you to other users? It has no reason in the world doing that. So you have to feed YouTube with information about your channel, about what you're doing, about how you can satisfy people, entertain people, help people, whatever that is going to make these people watch you in order for it to help you grow. So you need to feed it and feed it with information as much as you can. Now I'm not saying upload a video every day if you can do that, of course. You need to be able to upload regularly but not kill yourself on the way. For example, if you work all week long, you can maybe use the time that you have after work and work on your videos. Record the video, edit it, and in the end of the week, upload. So it makes it one video a week. I think that's really, really fair for a start. Well, I can hear some of you saying in your heads right now, But, but Stringhead, I, I don't know how to start my channel. I, I don't know if anyone would like me. There are so many people that are doing the same thing that I want to do and I just, I don't know if I can make it. Chill, fam. You know, just relax. It's all good. Don't think about it this way. It is really easy to get upset because there are so many people that are doing the same thing that you want to do and to feel like you're never going to be discovered. But it's okay. If you're stupid and you don't believe in yourself and you don't think that you can make it among all those people that are doing it, then 
just don't do it. But if you are positive and you really, really want this, you can achieve it. Because I know when people bring something new to the table, it just makes it a lot simpler for them to get famous or to get discovered or to get known. But if you don't have that new thing, it's okay. You are bringing yourself. You're bringing your character, your humor, your pretty face. So you just gotta believe in yourself at this point because people are gonna come specifically for that pretty face right there, champ. And if eventually, I don't know what happened, life just took you to a different direction, you still enjoy the process. Making YouTube is fun. It's creating something. And if you like to create, you're gonna enjoy doing this. So basically you have nothing to lose. All right, now go ahead and click those like and subscribe buttons. It really, really helps me. I really hope I managed to help you guys. And I hope that if you really wanna do it, you're gonna go ahead and start right now. Peace.